Five. Should be good for all you. We got this. You gotta write that down, buddy. You got here. No, you got your pops here, buddy. Oh. Five. Five, eight, ten, fifteen. Working on the pop situation. Welcome to the Gimme Golf Club. Excuse me while I put the cover back on for one moment. No. All right, and welcome back to the Gimme Golf Club here. Good luck, gentlemen. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Thank you. 
Mashed potatoes off the first tee here for JT. He's going to find himself a fairway. Next up on the box, Mr. Michael Rescott. Choosing to go driving it. Ripped up the right side. Let's see where it goes. It's going to draw back in. There we go. That's a fairway. We got two fairways off the first tee. Folks, you are here for a good one. Hi, buddy. Welcome, uh, Colby White in the booth here. How you doing today, buddy? Yeah, we are live right now. I'm a little sad now that I'm seeing this because I'm not playing. It's okay. <laughs> Sit, sit right on here. Join, join us in the booth here, you know? Kobe, give us one of them good dames. <laughs> He's a man of many words, but once you catch him in the comments section, it's a man of just one word, and that is damn. Damn. Kobe White, here in the booth with us. Another crispy driving iron here from. It's not a driving iron, I, I'm a liar. Straight in the bunker like Rick Shields. Damn. Alright, we've got, uh, got three viewers, but these are rookie numbers. We need to pump them numbers up. Go ahead and blast it, share it, do what you gotta do. Make sure everybody you know is watching this match. Quite the night going on here tonight at Gimme Golf Club. It's a wonderful night for uh, a humdinger or two, if you ask me. Yeah. JT setting up for his approach. Struck well. Let's see where it goes. That should cut. Yep. That's going to catch a piece. Great shot. There we go. I've got my assistant Lance over here in the booth. Uh, you want to fill, it, fill us in, in on the uh, pop situation here? Uh, we have pops on 5, 8, 12, and 15. 5, 8, 12, and 15. Those for Mike. Those are for Reska. For me. Oh. Very good shot. Very good shot. Great shot. That's a competitor. All right, hole two. Here we are all tied up still. Another good smash ball. Right on up in the middle of that fairway. A little trickle. It's flirting with disaster, but she's gonna be all right. You know, Colby, most people really hate this hole, but I personally love it. Um, I'm going to uh, uh, jump on board with the people that hate this hole. I'm a big fan of it. Why you gotta do that? Yeah. 
Mr. Rescott taking the wise choice, taking the driving iron off the tee. It's going to take the right side of the fairway just before the bunker on the right. He's going to be sitting pretty there. But he is first up here for a second shot. He's got 119 yards in, and he's got just a little slight breeze from the right to left in his face. My bad. You know us long leg guys, you know. Great strike. Great. Gonna have a little draw to it. Just needs to get up. Oh, great bounce. She's safe. I just got done uh, planting a tree at my house for all the viewers out there. Uh, if you ever uh, so inclined to plant a tree, hire somebody to do it. I feel like a butt. <laughs> Oh, or I thought you meant like no, doing what I'm doing. No. Well struck. Oh, baby. He's going for the jugular. We need, we need to come up with something like, uh, like, what's his face, uh, Chris Kerber. He does like the Blues games on the radio broadcast. You know, he's like, when anytime somebody gets a hat trick, he's like, if you've got a hat on, throw it at your radio. <laughs> With that, JT one up through two holes. Josh Klaus, thank you for being the best commentator of the night so far. Also, where the heck are you? Part three action here, 150 in. A little bleeder here. She's going to find the right side of the green there. Correction, he found the right side of the rough. Gonna have to sick, hit a second one off the tee here for Rescott. Dropping two, hitting three. The greatest part of, the, of his life might happen now. Catch a piece.
dog. All right, joining us in the booth here, we've got AJ Porter coming up in the second match of the night. How you feeling, bud? Just glad to be here, you know. Great crowd, big environment. Watching the man JT, just ripe it. You know, just, just glad to be here. That's what I love to hear. That's what I love to hear. Now, do you know here is uh, JT ripping the uh, triple diamond AI smoke yes. here? A little fun fact about this driver's setup. This driver was my driver, as was the shaft. A little fun fact. No wonder he hits it so good. Yeah, I mean, he absolutely strikes us. You, you left some good juju on that I, one, huh? I think so. It's on there. That's what I like to do. Pounding at 293. Jason? Save some ladies for the rest of us, huh? Kidding. 293, guys? Hey, no big one. All right, Mr. Michael Resca here. Not saying anything inappropriate over here, are you? I try not to. <laughs> A little too late for that. Oh, no. I keep catching I was getting into conspiracy theories. <laughs> I checked the box that it was uh, that it's not uh, it was not made for kids, so we're, I think we're okay. All right, well, with that, mashed potatoes <laughs> and freaking <laughs> gravy! Uh, the views of this uh, broadcast do not reflect the views of the Gimme Golf Club. Uh, we've got about 40 sickos here in the clubhouse, and if you're not here right now, get in the car, pack the kids up, bring them on down. I can't promise that it's family friendly, but you know what? We'll do our best. Three right now. And with that shot, Michael Rescott has gave himself a little bit of a window there. If you're following along with the broadcast, go ahead and let us know in the comments where you're at and why you're not in the clubhouse watching live and in person. Right, JT lining up for second like shot here. Taking that record off. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Very well struck iron here. I just go well. <laughs> nice little 140, two yard shot out there into the middle of the fairway. Give him a good look. Michael lining up here. I think he's going right between the trees. How you been? This is uh, this is Mr. Poopy Butthole. He's from the the show Rick and Morty. Woo wee! Can do. Hey, how are you for that for voiceover? No, actually, uh, the guy who created the show got canceled, and the show has gone way downhill since then. Yeah, yeah, the guy, the, the guy, the guy who created the show, like, beat up his girlfriend or his wife or something. So now you can't watch it anymore. Don't tune in. Don't do it. Don't do it. On this one, we got, we got Rick and Morty. Very well struck. Very, very, very well struck, but it is so well struck. 
Then it's going to find the back of the green, and it's going to do a little spin, and it's going to stop right there. Get this. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. And with that, JT is three up. I can I can multitask. <laughs> I tell you what, folks, JT sure came to play today. Look at that drive. Bad day to be a fairway. After this absolute freaking pipeline, Remember bounce? just going to find the left side of the That'll tree be okay. line. That'll be okay. You'll have a line. Mando, that's a nice flask you got there. What do you got in there? Some Traveler. Traveler whiskey. Not, hashtag not sponsored. I don't believe you. Mr. Rescott with a very nice take of the medicine. Hi. All right, JT lining up for shot number two here. He's got 171 yards in. Probably playing more like 175. He's got the wind at his left to right, a little bit at his back. It's a little thick. Oh, it's just going to trickle down into that bunker. Thank you. 
Don't know, boys. Yeah, it's not gonna get it done. Oh. I think there's some stuff right now. I'll take one big old splash for me. Oh, come on, Vic! Come on! Shot there by Mr. Reska. Joining me here in the booth here, we got Nick Orsino. What do you what do you think so far of the evening here at the the last hurrah for the winner, so to speak? You know, it's electric here. It's electric. Well, if I went to Florida, you wouldn't see me from one With that hole, Mr. Rescott so, that been really late. takes one back. <laughs> Sorry, I, mean, I just needed for that. Yeah. Sorry, I'm like seven beers deep, maybe. Oh, good. Like four shots. <laughs> Sorry, folks. <laughs> Caught it a little thick, but it's got that little draw to it. It's gonna, it's gonna bounce right. Nice par, nice par. All right, we've uh, pumped those uh, rookie numbers from three viewers up to five. Thank you to those who are joining us here. Everybody's here. <laughs> you're beautiful. We appreciate you. We're glad you're here. And with this, we've got this uh, wonderful tee shot here from JT. Struck. Absolutely gas, but it is fading. All right, all he's got to do is get it in the circle for a par, and we are good. We just dropped from four to five, <laughs> from five to four viewers. And with that, tell me how bad you miss Kenny Riley, because I do too. Can we get a name? Can we get a name for these holes? Uh, this hole is the hole that you are seeing. Oh, it's just gonna trickle on out. Hey, we can't give advice. Hold the phone, folks. Dance is bad. No, no, okay. Can you go give me a hot dog with just mustard on it? I can. My guy.
the way you sit, man. <laughs> so I came up behind you. I was like, tell, tell him the way you sit there, huh? <laughs> My bad. Dude, there's a ruler back there in the freaking lounge. Oh, oh, really? Slow putting dude. Yeah, dude. He had John Thrall. Oh, okay. Oh, I saw uh, one of his dogs. The real MVP of the evening is Eli Strobel, I tell you what. What a freaking guy, dude. Hey, look at look at that mustard wow. application, wow. bro. Excuse me while I do this real quick. Hold on. Bye-bye! It, it's so good. It's almost too good to eat. Now it's like it's If you're just not following along with us here, Mr. Uh, John Dash Thrall himself has decided to bring a hot dog roller in tonight, and he is serving them up. Get on down here, get yourself a hot dog, watch some great golf. Hey, are these all beef? Freaking fire, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna need about seven more of these hot dogs. That's how we do it in Missouri, you know what I'm saying? Down there. Shout out to the DJ this evening. Mr. T100 gets a pop here. Mr. Michael Rusco. I was in the middle of a thing, but yeah. Smooth tone. Thank you, Mr. DJ C Money, for queuing up these fresh beats for us. <laughs> All right, joining us. Joining us in the booth all the way from France, we've got Manon joining us. How you doing, gal? Late reaction on this. Okay. There's hot dog. Oh, there's, there's drinks. We're getting. Oh my gosh. And there's golf. Of course. Where where else would you rather be right now, right? This is the place to be. Here at the Gimme Golf Club, the St. Charles OG Clubhouse. Join us in the booth here for the live stream on YouTube. Tell us, tell us now, you know. How does it feel to be a gimme golfer now? We have any shout, shout outs online? Feels yet? good. Feels, Feels good. good. Newest member? Jacob, you can walk right 
How you doing today? I'm good. How about you? I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right. You're here to support the Cardinals, right? Yeah. No, you're here to support your fellow Gimme Golfers. That's right. That's my uh, Come on, have a seat, buddy. <laughs> what you, what, what's your drink? I drink anything. You like Bush Light? Yeah, I like Bush Light. You like Miller Light? Like, no, not Miller Light, though. Miller Light? Not as much, no. Not Bush as much? Light. Bush, Bush Light? Bush Light? Hey, can we get this guy a Bush Light? I got okay, you. I can go find one. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Yeah. yeah. So what are we playing here? Uh, right here in this middle bay, we've got our <laughs> March Madness, Winter Madness okay. tournament going on. This is uh, the finals of the right side of the bracket. And then just after this one, we're going to have the finals. Finals like Final Four? We're, we're in the Final Four. We're just doing a champion from each bracket. But uh, this is the right side of the bracket. And then after this one, we're going to have the left side of the bracket. In the first bay over here, we've got the Winter League Championship going on right now between Tuesday and Thursday leagues. And then if you're feeling frisky, I tell you, Jacob, that over there combines with this bay over here. Nick Orsino on the slack. Nick Orsino? Orsino, yeah. Okay. We got we got we got a skins game going on over here too. There you so, go. So if you're feeling frisky, I just want to come check it out and say hi to everybody. I'll probably be here for now, not too long. Hey Jacob, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let you know. You're a Southhouse guy, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. signed up down there. I work like a minute from there, so uh, it works out. So Jacob, if you don't mind me asking you, what drew you to the Gimme Golf Club? I've been following along for I don't know a year or two. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Since the beginning, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been following along on social media and stuff, and it's always seemed like a cool group. I just never pulled the trigger. So it's almost like it's almost like a no-brainer, right? Yeah. They opened the one in Fit, and I was like, I work right there. I can't turn it down now. <laughs> so yeah, how long have you been here? I've been here for about two years now. Two years. But all I gotta say, Jacob, is welcome home. Yeah, thank you. So you just wait. Show me back. Get up, get up. Oh, look at that. Right through there. Good ball. Russell catch it. Russell catch it. What, you don't want to be in the live broadcast here? It's not good. Yeah, play as live. A championship contender? You don't want to sit here and talk about it? No penalty. So sorry. A little long there by Mr. Prescott. 
I might be the worst commentator in all of the land, but keep in mind here, folks, that I am also operating the cameras. But I apologize. I need you to be here to commentate so I can just, yeah, 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 that talking, man, yeah, whatever, dude. To the viewers that are far and long and very wide away from here. for the league match. I got that, Yeah, sorry, Klaus. I can't really move from my spot. This is very saucy. This is very saucy. Oh, baby. Oh, baby! Woo! Woo! Nice job. We're all matches tied now. Uh, Josh Faust, if you can hear me speaking. Hunter Ryan's team is up one point right now. Leader there from Mr. Rescott here. Chicka chicka! They have played four holes. They have a robotic response. It's like playing summer. Eight. It's a cross room. He's getting loose. The mile per hours have jumped. Hey, Kayla. How you doing, Kayla? Why are you just standing there by yourself, Kayla? You know me? You can come talk to me. Come, come join me in the booth. Come join me in the booth. How are you doing tonight, Kayla? I'm doing all right. Do you like golf? You freaking hate it, don't you? You freaking hate it. Sometimes, yeah. You know, what, you know what my girlfriend likes to do? She likes to bring a spoon and a pail, and she'll come out with me and ride in the golf cart, and then she'll like find balls in the woods, and then like bring them home and clean them, and then sometimes if I, I love riding in the golf cart. I'm not a reader. What, what, what's your hobby? What's your favorite thing to do? Yeah. Way straight yeah, in there, dude. I'm more an active person. I, can, I, I look I, back I and I'm like, hey, Kayla. Come over here. Hey, Kayla. Hey, hey, Kayla. I have my friend. She loves reading. And what she does is every single time she goes, take her book, get her get a Starbucks, and she does her reader. My wife does that. Yeah. But yes, she's, she's my driver slash she'll read, she'll take some pictures and laugh at me every once in a while. <laughs> or videos. With her uh, Bloody Mary or Mimosa yeah. in hand. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why you said, why are you Great ball, great ball. I was like, we all beef? You're fine. Not like get a push card until you can just walk. Like you, can, you can walk too, yeah. I can walk. I don't know if you can walk. She's an active person, she said. That's why we're saying walking. 
Baldwin, Baldwin, Baldwin is, is a, a very good walk. Very good walk. <laughs> There's literally, the car yeah. there <laughs> might be two holes where you get to walk up a hill. Eli wants me to drive out. Yeah. <laughs> Eli's a princess. <laughs> we, went, we went to Nashville and we went golfing. Yeah. 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 I think I saw this. Hey man, can I can I uh can I, can I run some French by you that like I want to verify I want to verify some things. Okay. Okay, like I took one year of French in high school. Okay. And I don't think I really learned much. I mean, I I, I can like I I have a plan to do I can do a little bit of ba- I can hold a basic conversation. So maybe like I can like you know I can ask you your name. I can ask you how you're doing, like things like that. But all I ever did, because I was a hellraiser, you know, in high school, and I would just look up, you know, like really bad things to say. So I'm gonna say something to you that like I'm like just remember my pronunciation is not as good. I'm gonna say something to you. And and you tell me what I said, okay? Okay. All right. So that's the only time I got to Now again, I'm just saying this like as like 16 year old Cody. This isn't this isn't me now, okay? Je baisier ta fille. I found your daughter. Oh my God! I knew it. Hell yeah! I know French. Well, he knows one he cannot say to hey, anyone. Hey, hey, actually, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually specify here. Like, I, I would scream this at another guy that was in my class as an insult, thinking that it was like me just saying like, hey, I, me and your girl, but it wasn't that at all. Okay, all right. So American French classes are kind of bullshit, huh? But sometimes, okay, like. I'm actually really impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh, I I know a little bit. I know a little bit. That 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 Babel lab, honestly, like that. I think that did better for me than like actual like. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, 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 I think that one might actually like be, yeah. I think they're almost like one and the same, kind of. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same thing. They're all the same. Rosetta Stone can get fucked. I want to say our tickets. Yeah. Yeah. Now, trust me. Me and the guys, the husbands, we all agreed. Because the ticket price is like the reseller really good. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been covering this match at all. I haven't said anything about this match. Yeah, I just been. Is there audio? Yes. So I'm on. Oh, so it's to the whole public that they just hear you. Yeah, that was all live. I told you when I had you on earlier. Come on. Yeah, I said that. I said that in French, live, and you said it in English, live. Great shot, JT. I told my wife, I was like, they hit over 600. I don't know how I keep it. Because that will pay for our, like, for me and her, that'll pay for our trip minus drinking. Yeah, and honestly, all the cars are really just going. It's just as a good time. I am. Well, you know, Nashville usually has a live band. Hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. Hi, Josh. Hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. Yeah, thanks Ben. Thanks. I've been I I asked that question earlier. I've never been. I've been like my wife lived in Tennessee for like a year. And I've never been. White hat over the uh you know the table in the back? Yeah. You can just either lay him across that. But how about how about you join me here in the booth for a minute? Sure, sure. Uh, I know you don't know Michael, and I know you don't know JT. Yeah. But this is uh, this is the championship of the right side of the bracket that's on the wall over there. We're all square through nine holes right now. 
so far, but I, I don't I don't want to talk about this match right now. I want to talk about what you think of the Gimme Golf Club. Did you guys get hit with the nails for? Like, sit, you, you're, you're a brand new member. This is your first actual day, like, spending time with us rather than just taking a tour. What, what are your thoughts? Uh, I mean, first thing, uh, everyone has made me feel welcome day one. Really appreciate it. Love to hear it. Uh, yeah, played around, had a lot of fun there. Uh, you introduced me to that fun putting game. But but I also made you like play an entire hole with like a driver, just a driver, yeah. yeah. Uh, could not chip with it. It's okay. It's yeah, okay. It's fine. It's all right. Uh, but yeah, got some swag. Have met probably 50 people today. Feels like. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. Already in love with it. I love to hear it, buddy. I, we we are so glad you're here. We are so glad. Oh, great shot, JT. Hey Klaus. I can see the comments, man. Not only am I the producer, but I am also the commentator, the videographer. This was his, this whole tournament was his idea. Crispy. Crispy. Get on it. Get down. Sit. Zip. Spin. Hey. Oh. Great job. Hey, go make the putt. <laughs> And with that, Mr. Rescott has taken his first one hole lead in this match. So Joe, yeah. if I'm if I heard this correctly, you've been following the Gimme Golf Club since the very beginning. Yes, I have. They're all square on day one. Yeah, I don't know if there's a way to go back on Instagram and prove that, but I feel it was very early. Long time yeah. listener, first yes. time caller, yes. huh? It's carrying it though. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. You might be alright. I don't care about that. Give Josh an update. League, league matches are all tied three six seven. Mr. Rescott here doing a little bit of homework, doing a little R and D. He's gonna take a drop there. Never lose that. He doesn't. It's a really interesting hole. A lot of risk reward here. All right, Joe, I'm going to ask you a serious <laughs> question here. Yes. If you had to name this hole, what would you name it? Uh, bottle oh, opener. We can't open it. That's way cooler than what I would have said. I would have called this don't go left and don't go right. Or it could be the claw. I don't know. It looks like the fairway is just kind of holding that, that water on the right side. JT finding the fairway here. What a great shot. Mr. Adam Zahn, we are playing at Bell Reeve Country Club. <laughs> There's a window. I'm doing what I can for you, buddy. There is a window. Hey, and here joining us, finally, after how many connections today? Oh, did you have to take a Just, one. Just, one. Just one connecting flight. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We've got the man himself. That's right. 
K2. Come on down, bud. How you doing today? So all the all the way from West Palm Beach, Florida, through Baltimore, apparently. It's weird. Now tell me, is the all dog hot dog? Oh, this all, is all beef, all, all beef, beef hot, hot dog. dog. Is it worth it? It's pretty good. Oh my it's lord, is, is this, it not is good? It, is this a new a new addition to the to the OG house? I I think uh, Mr. John Dash Thrall himself. Oh, he yeah. brought that. Yeah, he yeah. brought the roller, brought wow. the dogs, brought the buns. <laughs> wow. He, he is actually really worried that we're going to run out. And I... Uh, uh, it's possible. I think it is very possible. Very, 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 very. Mike just ended up in, in between the uh, a rock and a hard place here. I'm Joe. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Joe. This is a new Soho guy, Joe. I believe. Joe. All right. Very new. Awesome. Very new, like yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got we got we got his clubs all dialed. Yeah. I was, I, I've been waiting all day. I was excited to meet Joe. <laughs> I, I see I see him steal your face on his bag, and I was just like, I gotta meet this guy. Yeah. I gotta meet this guy. And then he comes in, and come to find out, we we uh, we actually fucked up. And <laughs> We, we, we got to put the correct ferrules oh, on the oh, iron. Oh, okay. But hey, like a true sicko, Joe here, you know, he's got a backup set of irons. He's going to be all right. I love he's that. Gonna be good yeah, to go. I love that. And just to be clear, we put the stream in as adult only for the Oh, interview. good. Okay. So, that's, that's so, so when I when I slipped that, I didn't that mean was okay. to. But it, it's, but it's okay. okay. It's okay. like a little safety you went, net. You went adult you know? only. Okay. It's like a little safety <laughs> net. All right. All right. I like it. So we can still be monetized <laughs> just for the correct audience. Yes. Yeah. Yes. K2 made it from the plane. Ben Shetley. Yep. What's up, Shetley? No earmuffs. earmuffs. No yeah. earmuffs, man. It's adult only. Explicit content. What are we out here? So this is copyright free it. music, but yeah. somehow there's lyrics. I don't get that. No, it's it's true. He's got to do royalty free. Let's go. Okay. I like the touch. Set. Set. Ah, ran on. All right, Joe. I'm going to count to three. Yep. By the time I get to three, I want you to tell me what your favorite Green Sky Bluegrass song is, all right? One, two, three. I'm a Bluegrass fan. I don't know any explicit Green Sky songs off the top of my head. Come on, man. You don't like, you don't like Olden in the Way? I don't know any little, other... Little Dave any Grism, other little, little Jerry Garcia. No, uh, my favorite bluegrass artist uh, is Del McCurry. Okay, okay, uh, a little high on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, okay. My favorite bluegrass song is Del McCurry's 1952 Black Lightning. Yeah. Black, or sorry, Black Vincent Lightning. So. Uh, Vincent Black Lightning. All right, all right. That, that, yeah. that excuses the fact that you don't have a favorite green yeah, The first hey, instrument hey. I learned how to play was a mandolin. Play. Yeah. I got it. You play guitar? Uh, drums are my primary instrument. I, I can I can get my way through. You got, you got a Martin back there. Hey, oh yeah. Uh, I, I like to pick and grin a little bit. Oh, yeah. my, uh, I have my grandma. So my my dad's side of the family is from Kentucky. Uh, my my grandma moved to Indianapolis. She had like. Five bucks to her name, like bought a Greyhound ticket to Indy, and then worked worked a job for like two years, and then bought a, like pre pre war Martin at a pawn shop for like ten bucks, and uh, my dad got it fixed up like around like 2005, uh, and so I, I have it now, and it's the coolest like you just feel the energy in it. Dude, there, 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 there is. 
There's something special about a Martin. Yeah. We got a leaker to the trees. Members bounce. Oh, no. Mr. Rascott That's, does get a pop on so this ball. That, that you play mandolin? We, we, can, we can have to mess around, dude. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm definitely rusty. I, I'm not like hey. Jim, hey. but... I play so much golf though that like it's like I, I barely pick it up anymore. Like I I'm I'm uh, going through the relearning process. But you've been doing a lot of the music today, right? Yeah, like everything you heard up until like the royalty free music, yeah, yeah, that was all me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, thanks, man. Thanks. I can uh I can attribute all of that to my mother and father, a little bit of it to my grandparents, yeah. but yeah, yeah, I don't, I'm not a big modern music guy, but if I do, it's usually either like, some like real hardcore, or like, uh, just like some thrash maybe, a little bit of that. Speed, oh, speed. yes, dude, a little, uh, what do they call it? Uh, you ever listen to Kubikon? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's my shit right there. I'm not playing. Yeah, you like turnstiles? Yes. Dude, I. Turnstiles awesome. I've got like the worst record player in the world right now, but I I have like a fresh, never spun glow on yeah. copy that like I'm just dying to put on a freaking turntable like so bad dude they it's like initially I didn't listen to that album for like the first year it was even out because I was like like it's not the, the color pink yeah. that made me throw up it was just the cover out like the last album was like wasn't as good as uh, their debut yeah but I, I put it off for a long time and then I so holy I want to make like I want to film like an urban golf series yeah but like each episode is just a music video and it's that's too cool. low on that's what I want to do that'd be cool take a little take some phone balls out there in the streets and I want to film it like a skate video, though. like yeah. fisheye lenses and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh. Right Go. 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 Raw. Raw. No, no, we are right. That's gonna. We got right there. We got room to work with. Jay Bowie. What up, Lance? What up, the Mac? I go going for the, the Mac Boucher slinger over there. Begging for it, begging for it. What time do we break out the glow sticks? I don't rave, dude. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've done that. I need a, I need a certain, certain white pill. All right, and Mike is safely on the green. Let's see what JT's got here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Taking the box here. To the viewers at home, let us know why you were not here. <laughs> nice little draw up here coming up the left side of the fairway. Gonna get a good kick there to the first cut. Look at this guy. This guy like, hey bro, I'm in the middle of like hosting a live stream. What's up, my guy? What? I mean, I'm not really trying to, but I, I got—I probably have to. All uh, right, you better get here. Woo! That swing blew my hair back. I don't know about you. Blew a hair bag, that swing, you know? Yeah. Woo! Where the hell is Eli at? Is he playing golf? Yeah. You can hang out with me. It's alright. Here we are. Right. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this shot. Go ahead. Oh! Mike safely aboard the fairway there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Woo! On a rope. No, Jerry, Jerry's the guy that did all the work. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So and the diamond of black DF is back there. Okay. Uh, that's not me. I just, I, so with Ben, I just, because we've, we've worked together two times now, with fitting, and then also lessons, obviously. We got a whole new set of clubs. We had another session on Saturday. It's supposed to be Kenny and I put together his driver, his fairway, his hype. So, I, I reached out to Kenny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I, I'm not sure if that was well, it, but I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. You know what? Yeah, that looks similar. What's the driver name? I think that we were going to go with the TSR4.
Yeah. Me and him, we just uh, we do nothing but talk shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Turn. There you go. What are you doing? Yeah, JT. Here you go, JT. That's the uh, uh, Russ got one up with two to play. Hey. That's a good picture. That's a good one. Nice. Good ball. No more pops either, right? It's coming down the wire. You, if you, I got you if you have to go, buddy. Yeah, we'll, we'll finish this one up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I've been doing a very bad job of commentating. That's okay. Anytime I see somebody walk by, I'm like, hey, come, come sit in the booth. I don't think anybody's watching because uh, you're commentating. Nothing personal. <laughs> Thank you, listener. Thank you. No, that's why, that's why I told him. I said, it ain't the same without Kenny. <laughs> Don't look at me. You don't want this. You don't want this. Hey! You gotta be. You gotta be. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Candid. Candid. See, I get. I get one modeling. This guy. Job with Rap Soto, and then I'm just like, all of a sudden, like, come on, man. Yeah. Were you a modeling job? My one and only modeling job I'll ever do. I'm never. I don't think I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> it was like the worst experience of my life. Really? Yeah. I do a lot better behind the camera, not in front of me. It's like all, that's all I do. It's like same. I'm part of the studio, like just take pictures, video, and then day to day operations around this place. Think about it. We'll zoom in, uh, yeah. The view of a guy who had his Wheaties this morning. Oh, baby. Get up there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Makes you want to kick a fat kid in Kmart, you know what I'm saying? Commentary because it's electric, but look at that. It's a freaking dart, dude. Let's call that a birdie. We are going all tied through 17 holes. Good shot, 
JT. It's only ten dollars for the whole seat, but you're only gonna need the freaking edge. Here we are, baby. Ten dollars for the whole seat, but you're only gonna need the edge. <laughs> I gave that guy the microphone. We went to dual bowling tonight, too, so. Who's got the ecstasy? Let's go, boys. Yeah, I look. We gonna be alright. We gonna be alright. Good vibes only, that's right. I'm sorry, I'm not Kenny. I heard you, someone coming and being like, can I play with your clubs? And you're like, no, I'm bringing them bitches home. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Luckily, Kyle only put it on adult only. So you got to be 18 or older to actually stream it. No filter, baby. There we go. We played the wood ones on the side. Right. Right. Oh, get on there. Get up. Get up. All right. All right. Just a little short there. Short sided. Still like wag. Well, not for nothing. We did win last year for Tuesdays, and then we were in the final this year for Tuesdays. And I only played two days, two nights. So I, I, I was kind of forced to just put a Tuesday team together, and I wanted to be a Thursday guy, but I like your Tuesday. So I think I think Thursdays for you are a little too amped up. That's what I thrive, man. That's what I thrive. That's what I thrive. <laughs> I, I didn't play a lot this year either. I only played like probably like five weeks or like whatever. Like more than I did. Go in. Go in. Oh. Stop. 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 Woo! <laughs> Let's go! 
go back to number one. Play again. I would not have made that in this room. I need you to put that little thing in the back. Okay. Tony's got it,
like the Hey JT, got a pin? Got a pin? Got a pin? I was gonna tell you to hit it, but all right. Hazardous work environment. I'm calling HR. I am HR. <laughs> yeah, I am HR. <laughs> I am HR. <laughs> HR. It's gone back and forth like twice. Uh, he could make a five. And then he would have to get up and down for a five. What to do for Mr. Rest guy here? The ghost of Cody. It says hanging. Like in that picture. I should have never, should have never introduced him to the class. Should told me, should told me it was the, the, the bridal shop ghost. I have to 
13 viewers. Just keeps going up and up. Thought we were down, but you can't kick us while we're down. JT with 182 yards. Crispy, is it enough? Is it enough? No, no, it is not. Electing to drop. Right here. Come from Mr. Rescott, 153 yards. He's got a two mile an hour wind helping. There's a back pin in the middle. Be a little gas, might be just right to catch a piece, and it just rolls off the back. his feet. It's, it's quite aggressive lie here. Third and one yard from his drop. Oh no. He has topped it. Um, but better than the water, it has gone long to the rough. Still away. He's got 49 yards in. I got a little kid. Won't let me play. Won't let me play. Like a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> Crisscross applesauce, man. You gotta be your least favorite. You're just so mad. Dude. Well done, boys. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We've got the other bracket championship matchup coming.